Hey everyone, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense. Today we're looking at ticker symbol D-O-L-E. This, uh, <clears throat> I believe this is the pineapple farm, if I'm not mistaken, or a farm in general. Okay, so it is farm products. It says it's in Ireland. For some reason in my head, I thought this was in Hawaii. The pineapple farm's in Hawaii. Okay, Dole distributes and markets fresh fruits and vegetables, fresh fruit. The fresh fruit segment sells bananas and pineapples, which are sourced from local growers or Dole owned and leased farms. Located in Latin America, sold through North America, Europe, Latin America, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is more than just pineapples. Um, we are in USD. All right. Uh, all right, they have earnings later today, um, or I'm sorry, they have earnings tomorrow morning. We're reviewing it the morning before. So uh, should this stock be $12.38 or should it be lower or higher? We're going to find that out. What are institutions and hedge funds doing? Uh, what does their balance sheet look like? We're going to look at this on Thinkorswim uh, for a more in-depth analysis. So uh, let's go ahead and dive on in. So it looks like it bottomed i mean this company this company became public or switched tickers or something after the great lockdown the low here was in around the third quarter of 2022 around seven dollars and then it went to 13 <clears throat> and now it is at 12. this is a very i wouldn't say volatile it's opposite of volatile it seems like a very uh stable value stock probably offers a dividend i'm guessing yeah and the only reason i say that is because it it went from seven to almost 100 percent, and it's kind of chilling around 12. um i feel like if it was more volatile if they didn't offer a dividend i think this would be more volatile to the up and the downside uh, but since this is an income producing stock um this is more so held uh, longer by those who are trying to take advantage of the uh, income opportunity. So um, looking here, sales are great. Um, gross margin could be better, but I mean, this is a solid dividend producing stock. So you want something that is stable, 6 billion, 8 billion, 8 billion, that's pretty stable. Uh, EPS has really stabilized the last two years, 2022, 2023. Uh, that is in line with our sales as well. <clears throat> the price earnings is eight, meaning this stock is cheap. Um, I don't know if it's cheap in compared to its um, sector. The farm sector, the farm products sector is uh, quite large, I believe. So, sorry about that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, so we're going to do my quick calculation here. Uh, we're going to look at the market cap income sales. So they have 1 billion, 170 million. Yep. Uh, plus they have 145 million, 880,000 income. Yep. Plus they do 8 billion, 250 million in sales. That is crazy. All right, uh, so now we're going to go down and look at the debt and the cash. All right. They have $281 million in cash plus $281.48. All right, total debt is probably a couple billion, maybe. Uh, only $1 billion. Minus $1 billion, $133 million. Okay. Uh, looking at total assets, it's 4.8 billion assets, 3.4 billion liabilities. They have a 1.4 billion dollar buffer, which is pretty common for uh, dividend paying stocks, in my opinion. Um, sorry, I can't get this right. Uh, so the the bandwidth between those is not attractive, but typically with dividend paying stocks, it's the assets to liabilities are less than two. And this one is less than two. So when I say assets dwarf liabilities two to one, that would mean assets of 4.8 and then 
liabilities would be 2.4. So the assets would be twice as much as the liabilities. All right, uh, I don't see any, any insider buying or selling down here, but we'll check on that uh, in a moment. Okay, uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and take this number and divide it by 61 million for, well, we're gonna do two here. So this is the more aggressive stock price, 61 million. So it's $141 stock on the aggressive side. We're gonna take this here. Okay, and we're gonna do plus zero, okay. Divided by 94,930,000. Okay, 91 to 141. Okay, so my calculation is way farther than what we're seeing now. And a lot of that has to do with um, dividends. So my calculation does not fare well with dividend paying stocks, but it does do well with large cap, mega cap, uh, small cap, micro cap. But for dividend stocks, for some reason, it uh, gets thrown out of the loop. Uh, looking here, the quick ratio is 0.9, meaning if they had to close their doors tomorrow for whatever reason, uh, they would not be able to pay off their ass their uh, liabilities, debts, notes, <clears throat> etc. That's why having a quick ratio over one is um, more attractive, more important. Gross margins are really low. Um, I just reviewed a stock, uh, Sweet Greens. They had gross margins of seven percent, and it's up thirty, or I'm sorry, it was up seventeen percent on last week, which is crazy. So. Um, I don't see any other analysts with price targets. Um, this going to 100 plus, we will check out. Uh, I do want to see what institutions and hedge funds are doing here. All right. So institutions own 48% and they're actually, it looks like they're selling. So 48% is the old data. And that is because they don't update often. Um, Intel updates almost daily. So this is going to be more accurate. So it's at 58%. So it's up 10% now. And we can see it's actually at all time highs in terms of invest institutional and hedge fund investments. Uh, let's see what Vanguard and BlackRock, no Vanguard, BlackRock. So Taylor Bruce decreased and BDL capital sold out completely. JP Morgan trimmed rubric capital increased Citigroup increased Wells Fargo increased BlackRock barely decreased Credit Suisse decreased by 30 percent uh, Vanguard increased their position Charles Schwab increased their position Increase, increase, new position, sold out, sold out, sold out. Uh, Lisa Stroudford. Wow, these are all within like this month. Uh, yeah, so, so much buying and selling within May and then now we're in April. A lot of buying in April. You can see a lot of, okay, here's one red. Okay, here's a few more reds. A lot of greens in April. Um, Two reds in March. Now we're in February. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven reds in February. That's not, I didn't count the greens, but I think the greens outweighed the reds for sure. Okay. So um, this is just showing nothing but upside to me personally. Um, we're going to look at Thinkorswim for a little bit better. I would like to see the the picture as a whole because I feel like Dole has been trading for a lot longer than a few years of Dole. Yeah, this... Let's see if they're old data... Um, I just want to see if they changed their 
No, I mean this. Okay, this company was founded on June sixteenth, twenty seventeen. The dull we know, the bananas and the pineapples. I feel like that's been around for a lot longer than twenty seventeen. Okay, we're just gonna do a search for dole. All right. Nope. Still dull. Okay. Uh, let's look at the website. I feel like they had a stock like back that went back a long. Yeah, this is the same doll I'm thinking of. Why is it only showing me data for the last three years? That's really annoying. Hmm. Let's just see. Interesting. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. I feel like Dole's for a lot longer than that. Anyway, uh, we're looking at the monthly on Dole. Definitely looks wishy-washy here. Um, going back to all the way to 2000. And, see, it goes back to 2008. I don't understand. Okay, here we go. So this support goes all the way back for 14, 15, 16 years. Uh, you can see it gets tested a few times. Well, yeah, three times. If I go here, this is also a decent spot, but I do like this spot. This is a good spot too, but I do like right here. Okay. So uh, we can see every time it bounces off this line, it goes up, not there, um, almost 100%. So, I mean, this one's just kind of hard to chart out because it goes all the way back to 28, 2008, but there's a huge gap of data. Like, we don't have any volume data down here. Um. <clears throat> But given this information, and then I'll look for the upside and downside on this one. So if the if they do have good earnings, um, let's see. I guess right there's a decent spot. Okay. All right, so you see how it perf this perfectly touches this twice, touches this, tests this once. Okay, uh, and then looking at support. All right, so you're probably asking why I chose that line. We can see right here it tests it three times. It gets tested here several more times. Tests here again, acts as support here, acts as support and resistance both these times. This perfectly tests it. I think this is our confirmation candle here. Like, hey, this line exists, respect it. Yes, master. Okay, so if earnings are bad, I think we go to 1180 uh, with, if it's really bad, 1090 something. Uh, if earnings are good, however, This is a decent spot. Hold on a second. All right, that's a decent channel. So uh, if earnings are good, I think we get, well, let's do some more. I wanna do some more uh, resist support and resistances. What the heck?
Okay. All right, you might be asking yourself why did I choose those lines? So our bottom channel here, uh, we get test support, supports tested, resistance gets tested, resistance, 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 support, resistance five times. This upper uh, resistance, upper channel, sorry. Um, we can see resistance, support, 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 resistance, support, 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 resistance, and then it follows through. So if earnings are bad, I think we see 1190, 1189. If they're horrible, 1097. If earnings are good, I think we see 1265 and 1318. Final, that's my final offer. <laughs> and um, honestly, this company seems to be doing just fine. Invest institutions and hedge funds have added 10%. So this data this data point is old so this could be some trickery by um smart money big money using these uh types of stock sites as an advantage because they're showing a negative number here but institutions and hedge funds are actually adding and it, as you can see we're at all time highs right here uh and if we're looking at money flow i mean money flows just hanging out the all-time high relative momentum indicator is about the all-time high right now and kind of curving up uh momentum looks like it has been drawn out for a while uh strength is at the all-time high it's at 49 so uh i say overall the earnings might be neutral but again use my price targets as uh arbitrary numbers to the upside or downside that's just my opinion don't make any buying or selling decisions based on my gibberish. So, and also the price to earnings is eight. That's pretty low. Um, being where I'm at currently, um, I'm in my thirties. I like something with a little bit higher gross margins, a little bit more volatility, a little bit more risk. And I'm not saying this isn't either of those. My price targets for this were 91 and $141. But at the same time, this is an income producing stock. If they cut these dividends and put the money back into the business, that would be huge, but they are not. So take that for what it's worth. Um, I won't be buying this anytime soon unless, I don't know, as I get closer to building out my uh, retirement portfolio, maybe adding this slowly, but yeah, that's my two cents. Um, if they did not have a dividend, I would be a little bit more excited about this. Um, so personally, it doesn't qualify for me as a potential investment. That is why I'm not digging deeper. I'm not looking at where their net income is coming. I'm not looking at what they have coming down the pipelines. That is me. So thank you for watching. If you made it this far, consider subscribing. I do also want to call out they are profitable. Barely, but... I mean, when I say barely, 145 million. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you made it so far, consider subscribing. Leave a comment, hit the like, hit the dislike. Have a great day. If you're in this one, good luck. Um, I don't think you'll need it. I don't think this is going to be too volatile. If you're in this one, I feel like you're in it for a long time. So anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.